Hey, Coach, I'm so excited that you found us on YouTube. Um, I've been coaching for 30 years, put a lot of videos up there for you to use. I hope you're enjoying them. Let me know how I can help you in this great journey. Um, coach, this guy, he's a pretty good. I think he's playing for the Bucks this year. But let me help you. You know, I've been through it. I've won a lot of championships. You can see behind. Run, run one of the best high school programs in the country. I can help. I've been there. I've coached my son's team, the youth teams. Let me help you through this great journey. TeachHoops.com is the answer. One-on-one -on -one calls, office hours, resources, you name it. We got it. We can help you. I have been there. Um, so let me help you through this journey. So go over and check it out. Enjoy the video. Actually, let's not do that. Let's do the St. Anthony drill next. All right. So we'll put one guy, one guy, let's put one guy in the Spartans over there. Yep, on the S. All right, put a guy in the, in the L free throw line right there. One guy in the baseline, one guy in the baseline. Okay. And again, if you have an extra kid, you put the extra kid here. You start a line in, in this, on, the, on this point, you start a line over there. Okay, and then you have them switch through. Um, so what's going to happen here is Augustine's going to take the ball and he's going to try to get into the paint. Okay, so he's going to on this side of the court he's going to use his left hand. Hold on, and if if you have a line over here, they would be using their right hand to try to get in the paint. Okay, so he's trying to get a foot into the green area into the paint. All right, so we'll go slow mo here. So he's going to do that. He's going to do the best he can. He's got to stay on this side of the court. He's going to dribble as fast as he can, try to get in. Oh, he beat him. All right, stop. As soon as he gets a foot in, he's going to pass it to the guy in the post on the baseline. He's going to be on offense, and you're going to be on defense. Okay? Yep, you're coming all the way over to play defense, and then it's a one-on-one -on -one drill. So what we're working on, we don't want to block shots. You know, I, I've coached a long time. I think I've had one shot blocker my whole career. We want to make sure that they get over and play good post defense. Why do I like this drill? Dribble penetration. If you can get into the paint area, it opens up everything on the court. So I'm trying to teach my guys that. I'm trying to teach them how to defend that, not let them into the paint area. And then we're working on what happens when you get beat. Well, we got to try to stop the baseline. All right, let's try that. Go ahead. We talk about it keeping out of the green zone. Good. And Augustine has to get a foot in the paint or he probably wouldn't have made that. So let's, let's bring you over here, Augustine, and pretend you're on this line. So now he would use his right hand and try to get in the paint. Go ahead. Good. Now you got to defend, and the other two guys just kind of step off. All right, go back to the other side one more time, Augustine. All right. Ready? Go. Good defensive. Good. Keep him in front, body, high hands, good, and a good shot. Um, they will start taking shortcuts in this drill. Uh, when we've run this drill in practice, they've taken shortcuts. They won't dribble hard down and try to get in the paint area. They'll make little lob passes to the baseline. They will do this. Of all the drills that I'm probably going to show you tonight, this is probably one that they're going to take the most shortcuts. So you've got to really get on them the first couple times you do it to make sure that they're getting in the right. Hey coach, so glad you enjoyed that video. Hope you did at least. Uh, let me know how I can help. Join teachhoops.com. I've been through it all. I've won championships, got a lot of rings. Let me know how I can help you become a better basketball coach too.